Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront to receive the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi and his accompanying delegation upon his arrival in the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, their Highnesses and Excellencies were also present to receive the President. The Egyptian President then greeted senior Bahraini officials, and His Majesty the King also greeted the delegation. His Majesty's motorcade then headed to Skhir Palace and a number of students from the Ministry of Education welcomed the guests. His Majesty the King and the Egyptian President then witnessed Bahraini Arba.
An official reception ceremony was held for the president. The Egyptian national anthem was played. And the artillery fired 21 rounds to salute the distinguished guests. The honor mission was formed under the chairmanship of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Bar Rashid Al Zayani. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a discussion session with the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Sakhir Palace. The two sides reviewed the deep rooted brotherly relations and the strategic cooperation in various aspects that achieved the aspirations of the two countries and their people. His Majesty the King welcomed the Kingdom's guest, which reflects the distinguished bilateral relations and embodies the two leaders' keenness on communication, coordination, and consultation on regional issues. Of of common interest to serve the two countries' interests and the causes of the Arab nation. His Majesty hailed the role of the Egyptian community in Bahrain and its contributions to the development process in the kingdom, as well as its competency, asserting that Bahrain and Egypt share a deep-rooted history and a developed present. His Majesty the King and the Egyptian President expressed pride in the historic bilateral relations, affirming their aspirations for bolstering cooperation. His Majesty commended the leading development and vital projects in Egypt and as a result of the approach of the Egyptian president and the remarkable achievements it's made in all fields. He also praised its role as a main pillar for regional security and stability and its efforts in supporting the nation's causes and bolstering the march of joint Arab action and facing regional challenges. President Assisi expressed pleasure in visiting Bahrain which affirms their fraternal relations, asserting his keenness on such meetings to bolster cooperation in all fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the President of the Electricity and Water Affairs Authority Kamal bin Hamad Mohammed and the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs Yasser Ahmedan at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of implementing strategic programs that contribute to the development of the electricity and water sector, which is a vital sector that supports the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He congratulated Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed on his new appointment, wishing him success in carrying out his duties. His Royal Highness affirmed that Bahrain has a bright and skilled workforce capable of overcoming various challenges and commended their continuous contributions and achievements in driving the country's development across various sectors. He further commended the accomplishments of the EWA president and the various positions he has held, as well as the ongoing projects he has supervised, which have been instrumental in stamping Bahrain's mark on the global stage. Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed expressed gratitude for the trust bestowed upon him and express his appreciation for the support and commitment provided by His Royal Highness to the Kingdom's national workforce who continue to serve the leadership, the Kingdom and its people. A number of senior officials also attended the meeting.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the editors in chief of local news outlets at Rafah Palace and presented them with the Prince Salman bin Hamad Medal for Medical Merit in recognition of their prominent role in supporting the kingdom's comprehensive COVID-19 response. His Royal Highness noted that the royal order to present the medal to the kingdom's frontliners reflects His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's appreciation of Team Bahrain's efforts and honorable sacrifices. He emphasized the pivotal role of the kingdom's press and effectively raised raising awareness of measures to combat COVID-19, which is an important part of the combined efforts of Team Bahrain to overcome the effects of the global pandemic and maintaining public health. His Royal Highness then honored the guests and extended His Majesty's gratitude for their significant role in supporting the Kingdom's comprehensive COVID-19 response. He further noted the press's role in covering various issues of interest to the Bahraini citizens, which contributes to the Kingdom's development and prosperity. The editors-in-chief expressed their gratitude for receiving the Royal Order and and their appreciation to His Royal Highness for presenting them with the medal. They further noted that the medal represents a greater responsibility for local news outlets to contribute to the success of all development projects in the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs Hamad bin Faisal Al Malki also attended the meeting. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Zayda Zayani, met with the seventh batch of the Prime Minister Fellowship Program. The Minister praised the strategic directions of the Prime Minister Fellowship Program that reflect the vision of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to develop government employees. He affirmed the Ministry's keenness and continuous support for all Bahrainis and its provision of all requirements that would improve the experiences and qualifications of Bahraini youth. He noted the importance of the program for the fellows to benefit from the opportunities and practical training programs offered to them which contribute to raising their skills, refining their expertise, and developing their practical and productive capabilities. The fellows thanked the minister for his support and encouragement to participate in developing government services in Bahrain. An implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna Ramehi, affirmed that all measures will be taken to increase the Mazaya program beneficiaries for the year 2022 by 500 to reach a total of 2,500. She extended thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for supporting the housing sector within Bahrain's Comprehensive Development March and noted the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness to develop the housing services system for the benefit of the country and citizens. The Minister also stressed the government's key to provide all the financing and logistical requirements to provide housing units for applicants until the desired goals are reached. She pointed out to the continuation of national efforts to meet the aspirations of the current stage and the innovative immediate housing solutions it requires to meet the needs of citizens. Bahrain welcomed the announcement by the British Home Office to launch the United Kingdom Electronic Travel Authorization in early 2023 that would fully exempt Bahrain and GCC citizens from visa requirements, which stems from the deep-rooted historic relations. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs said that the launch of ETA next year complements the British government decision to implement the electronic visa exemption system starting from June. The relations between Bahrain and Egypt enjoy the support of the leaderships of the two brotherly countries in order to advance them to broader horizons of cooperation and joint coordination. More on this report. Bahrain welcomes and celebrates the visit of its honorable guest, the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, where he will be received by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa. The visit is characterized by a fraternal spirit, respect, and mutual appreciation from both leaders. The two brotherly countries have honorable roles in supporting joint Arab action and firm stances towards the issues of the region and the Arab and Islamic nations, which serves the interests of the two brotherly countries and peoples and meets their aspirations. The people of the Kingdom of Bahrain benefit from these brotherly values from the leadership of His Majesty the King as he affirms the pride of the Kingdom of Bahrain, the leadership and the people, of its solid historical relations with Egypt, which has enriched the relationship with more approachment, which was praised by the Egyptian president. His Majesty the King's pioneering role in developing relations with Egypt is a distinguished model of cooperation between the two brotherly countries. 
And for more about the Egyptian presidential visit to Bahrain, we are joined over the phone by a member of the Council of Representatives, Mr. Ammar Gambar. Hello, Mr. Gambar. Can you tell us about the significance of this presidential visit? Uh, hello. Uh, first of all, uh, it's an honor uh, welcoming his president, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, in our kingdom and having his majesty, King Hamad al-Khalifa, the king of Bahrain, welcoming him as part of the bilateral relations between the two countries. As we stress uh, Bahrain's pride in the historical ties uh, that unite the two countries and its people, uh, the visit uh, eager to continue strengthening uh, bilateral cooperation with uh, Egypt in various fields, uh, intensifying the pace of uh, joint coordination towards development in the Middle East, and strengthening uh, unity of, and joint Arab action in facing various regional and international challenges. So the visit really enhances and strengthens uh, the great relations we, that we have with uh, Egypt. Can you brief us about the parliamentary relations between the two countries and can this visit further develop them? Uh, as I said, Bahrain and Egypt uh, have a strong bond together with a continuous relation that binds the two countries, uh, government and its people also and their coming destiny and also the future. Uh, the support of this bond, uh, uh, the bilateral cooperation in, uh, in all levels, part of this cooperation we have is the parliamentary diplomacy that we have expanded in the last uh, few years, especially in the experience exchange program, which helps improving the legislative uh, system in both countries. We also have a continuous uh, parliamentary delegation visits it also, uh, also helps uh, on the coordination of international and regional positions. Also, Egypt holds the headquarters of the Arab Parliamentary Union and the Arab Parliament, which are proudly led by Bahrainis, uh, Her Excellency Mrs. Fawzia Zainal and His Excellency Mr. Adel Asumi. So Egypt has a strong history that we can also benefit. So these diplomatic, uh, diplomatic relations are getting stronger day by day with our beloved country Egypt and we will continue this long relations inshallah. Member of the Council of Representatives, Mr. Ammar Gambar, thank you for joining us. And now we turn to Shura Council Member Ms. Hala Ramzi to speak about the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Egypt. Hello Ms. Hala, the two countries enjoy deep-rooted and excellent relations in various fields. Can you tell us more about the impact this visit will have? Um, good evening to you and to the listeners. Um, of course, the visit of President Sisi today to Bahrain is uh, a clear refle reflection of the uh, special historical relations and firm cordial brotherly bonds between the Egyptian and the Bahraini leadership, as well as the people of Bahrain. Um, Egypt uh, shares warm relations with Bahrain at all levels, including economic and commercial ties, and a mutual understanding on regional issues. So the visit comes to show the keenness to continue enhancing the bilateral cooperation uh, with Bahrain in various fields and also intensifying joint coordination with regard to the development facing the Middle East region. And if we are considering the current regional and international issues, uh, of course it's expected that the discussions between the two leaders will include uh, consultation and coordination on various regional and international issues and the conflicts um, that we are seeing during this current stage. And of course, the, these require uh, concrete efforts to protect Arab national security and also to uh, confront any attempts to interfere in the internal affairs of um, Arab countries to and de de destabilizing them. Ms. Hala, what are the fields that this visit will boost to advance the bilateral relations even further? Um, during uh, His Majesty's uh, visit to uh, Egypt la last week, the recent visit he had, he, he hailed, His Majesty hailed the significant and qualitative progress witnessed by the Egyptian Bahraini relations in the political, economic, uh, development, and other fields. And it all highlighted also the joint keenness to advance these relations. Uh, for example, the volume of trade ex exchange between Egypt and Bahrain recorded 816 uh, US dollar, million US dollars in 2021. And that's uh, an increase of 88% over the 2020 figure. And, um, and it's, a, it's a considerable increase, really, and it's expected that 
the figure will increase to around a billion U.S. dollar during the coming year. Uh, also, uh, Bahrain's investments in Egypt stand at uh, uh, 3.2 billion U.S. dollars through uh, 216 projects, according to the data from the, uh, our embassy in Cairo. So, considering all these, and on the other hand, also with Egypt's pivotal and uh, firm role as a mainstay for the uh, security and stability in the region, it's important really to intensify the pace of uh, the coordination towards development of bilateral relations in, in various aspects, really, between the two countries, and to constantly develop the deep-rooted bilateral ties for the benefit of the two brotherly countries. Shura Council Member Ms. Hala Ramzi, thank you for joining us.